Okay, back with the second part of Mega Man 9. Uh, this is the Wily Castle. I'm hoping to get this done uh, in this section. It's kind of funny because I find the boss is a little bit easier to kill than the stages themselves, and I done fell down the hole. Well, we're starting off on the right foot. Then fell down the hole. We're doing good. Then fell our butt down the hole. It's a fantastic way to start. Okay. I hate those things that hop out. So you have to get close to those guys to let them shoot before they do all that. Yeah, wrong button. Um, you need the tornado right here. So it'll push these up. And just push this one up too. Jump over. Oh, grab the battery. Grab the battery. Grab that before it goes. And you should be able to make that jump right there. Okay. Now. You gotta shoot at him first. And then you gotta kind of do all that. So you're gonna shoot this guy. You're gonna make him drop that shield. And then you're gonna come up here and just shoot away. We're gonna use the rush coil right here. Well, I think we're going to use the rush coil. <laughs> Just jump straight up, okay. This is Wily Stage One. Boss of this stage is what I refer to. I guess they're called push bots. Here's that dragon again. Took a hit I really didn't need to take there. Technically, really, the only boss I worry about having a problem with is maybe the first uh, Wily boss and the boss of the third stage. And I'm um, not going to tell you who the boss of the third stage is yet because uh, it's kind of a surprise. Now, there's a way to do this right here. Oh, crud, I got the wrong thing. Okay. You call down Rush, do that. You need to come up here and turn and then do drop back down. Now, I'm going to tell you a little trick about this one. You see that first ladder that's up there on that second stage? You need to go up there first. There's an E-tank up there. You can get that E-tank. And then you drop back down. But most of the time you just go up like this. See those other sides? You can go up through there and go up that ladder and go up that other ladder. There's an E-tank up there. So if you need that E-tank, go on up there and get the E-tank. If you don't need the E-tank, then um, you can do it this way. Don't do what I just did. Jump from this the, from the other ladder to this ladder, and then you can go on up there. See the tanks right there. And you use the laser trident, I think, to push through the wall to get it. Now, you got to only swing things. Grab up there. The rush jet, or I use the rush jet, and I use it right here too. Okay. By the way, if those beam things hit you, those are one-hit kills, I do believe. Um, I think there's a few different ways to get away from them, but uh, for the sake of doing what we're doing, we're just going to go through them this way. Okay, I'm going to try to kill this boss the first time. It might not happen. The, the best thing I've found to do is to alternate in between this third one and this fourth one. And just shoot away like there's no tomorrow. I 
And see those uh, top ones are going to start shooting away on you. Don't worry too much about them if you try to dodge them. See the bottom door shut down. That door shut down. And boom, and they're done. First Wiley stage done. Not too bad. This next stage is a little bit difficult. I don't think the boss is all that bad, but the stage itself is it can be uh, can be a little bit difficult to get through. So what you want to do is, since you got two batteries, you want to make sure. You want to make sure this is filled up because you're going to need that later. And then you're going to make sure the jet's filled up. Always make sure that jet's filled up because that's that's one of those things where um, it be a lot of times when it'll come in handy. Best thing to do right here, shoot the light trident. Go up this side unless you need the one up. If you need the one up, go up the other side. Okay, come on up here. This is one of the you can use help to get through here. Um, I might have to. Most of the time, I can get it on. I can get on across, and uh, this is not going to be one of those. Uh, it's not going to be one of those good times. Crud! Well, he got the one up. Yeah, I got the one up all right. Wow, I'm really getting whooped here so badly. Okay, all right. You can do this one of two ways. I like to do it this way. I'm sure you can use the rush jet, but I like to do it this way myself and use the light trident. And then go across. Shoot him as they're a little bit further over there. And then wait until he goes over. And then wait until he goes down and then do that. Now I like to shoot him at the edge of this. You gotta kind of time it because he shoots a lot of bullets and you can't get away from him because you can't climb or go down the ladder fast enough. Again, you could go straight across through there. But I'm gonna try to do it this way. Don't go too far over to the side of the screen while you're trying to shoot him down. Because if you do, he'll just respawn. Okay. Now those little things that are coming by, they're showing where there would be... Um, whatever they covered, there's going to be... There's still openings in those blocks. And I can't find the openings in the blocks. There's one. You're going to take this dude out right here first. I may lose a life in this stage, but that's okay. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to grab your rush coil. I guess it's about right here. And then watch out because that last brick is not there. See, if they put a brick in there, it's not there and you're going to fall through. So you have to kind of remember where the bricks are. This thing to do right here is just jump and fire. Stay on that bottom part. Right there. See, those bricks are not real. So you have to remember where they're at. And I just got hammered by the thing there. Now, you guys remember that wasn't there. So boop and boop and boop. boop. And I like to use the rush coil right here so that I can slide right here. You're going to pull out the concrete shot. You're going to fight this boss again. Ah, 
Don't make that jump like I just did. That's a real, that's a real, um, the way I made that jump was probably not the best of things to do, so don't really do that. <laughs> Unless you know for sure that you can get it. And this is where the game gets a little bit tough because there's an area right through here that you have to make a perfect jump and the perfect jump um, the perfect jump is hard to make it's not here there's the e-tank I told you I was going to take a beating. These things are going to come along. I think the game kind of glitched me there. Oh gosh. Oh! You're going to have to go through here just getting just hounded by the stupid things. Or go on the bottom. Now. Here's where the hard part is. You gotta make this jump. And then you gotta make this jump too. This one's a little, I think, maybe a little bit easier than that one. But you gotta make that jump right there. And up. Okay, see, you have to memorize where the blocks are. You have to shoot them down one or the two. Uh, we're going to grab some life. We're going to try to stay alive right through here. This is a very, very, very tough place to not get hit, but we're going to try not to. Take out what you can. And actually, if you scoop right up right through there, you shouldn't have too much of a problem. Stage is going pretty good. There's the boss door. We're not going to try to kill him with the weapons that we're going to use yet. So we're just going to see what we can do with our gun. And um, if we end up killing, we end up killing. When he opens that back compartment, if you've already shot them all down, or if you're still working on shooting them all down, pummel him with shots. There's a couple other weapons that work real, that work okay right there, but I like to use the Mega Buster. Well, just the, the gun. Um, if you go up right here, you will get hit. So you want to, but you want to hit those um, those bulbs. <laughs> I almost killed him with the gun. I, I won't kill the last part with the gun. Um, I think, you, yeah, you have to shoot him in the mouth when the mouth's open. You could kill him all the way through with the Mega Buster, but, um,. Uh, but, uh, you know, this other way will be a whole lot easier than that one. If you want to destroy him with the Mega Buster, you're more than welcome to. They say that you can use the laser trident and, like, the Hornet Chaser back here, but... I like to just use the Mega Buster because I'm going to have to use those other things later. Now they say right here you want to grab the Tornado Blow. This thing right here just totally wrecks this middle section. It is just so bad.
See, you use the whole thing and it totally wrecks the middle section. Um, third stage is, let's see, um, they, okay. The one I was reading did not have what I did the other day. I think it's the laser trident is the best thing to hit it with. But make sure you can hit him. You may take some damage on the way, but... A little too antsy there, shot a little bit too early. I stage three. Do, do. Okay. Oh, I should pick that up with the thing. I keep forgetting they don't recharge. Oh, this stage is infuriating. Whichever way you shoot is the way that you go. Well, you go the opposite way. Whichever way your back is turned, that's where you're going to go when you shoot. So, um... <coughs> second part of this is very very annoying because there's at that point there are spikes on the ceiling and that is really really irritating there. and you'll have to make pretty accurate jumps right through here to really get through there Okay. Good deal so far. Whoa! I think we're gonna drop down on the right hand side. Yeah, that's where we wanted to go. Okay. That will help a little bit. We'll drop down through here. I'll drop down and get this. Now, drop down here. All right. Yeah, I know I'm not talking a whole lot. This game's really hard, takes a lot of concentration <laughs> on certain parts. The Wally stages are some of those certain parts. be able to get it or not. Yep, I did. It must be about halfway through the stage. Oh, here comes the bad part. You gotta watch because there's these there's those little flying things and they try to pick you up in certain parts. You have to stop yourself almost because you really have to careful okay and up okay now these look like one-ups they're not not all of them's one-ups that one on the far left was a one-up but not the other ones now you gotta be really careful through here because you don't want to do that part you just did you don't want to do that again if you don't have to I had to do it again the first the lat the uh, couple times and uh, I wasn't able to make it through it as well as I did the first time, so. Uh, I try not to screw up too much. There's one or two parts through here where they'll try to make it a little bit more difficult for you. This is one of them. 
So you make a little jump right there. This one's this one's a little bit tough too. You gotta put in shots when you can. Oh crud. Cause more than likely if he hits you, you're going off. Now there's a little thing, there you go. You gotta remember to jump quick because that's not a one up. Bust that up. And we're through that part on the first shot. And this is where the boss is gonna be. Um, notice the game saved. You can use an E-tank on this boss. I actually got here with almost full health, which is good. You're gonna use the black hole bomb, but you have to be able to use it pretty good. This thing's gonna go from one side of the screen to the other, shifting stuff over. You have to make sure that you hit it midway through. And it uses the same pattern all the time, which doesn't mean I'm gonna be able to to miss every single, there he went. You gotta hit him every time he comes over. Now they'll shift positions and they'll come this way again. And a lot of times I take a hit because I think the piece is going to be there and it's not. Crap. If I don't say anything guys, don't worry. I'm still there. I'm just trying to not. Whoa. Whoa. I barely, barely. Crud. I forget where they're going to be. That's my, that's my issue. <laughs> and I'm gonna have to use an E-Tank. I didn't have to use one last time on a stupid thing, but I have to this time. And there's no shame in that. It it it, it does sometimes. The only shame is that I can't figure out when to jump. Caught his butt right there. I would have liked to have racked him for more than one hit, though. This thing is a huge pain in the butt. Oh, gosh. There you go. Again, use an E-Tank if you have to. I didn't have to use an E-Tank the other day whenever I done it the first time. But that doesn't mean anything. This should be the last stage. Um, and of course they don't give you... this up. The only one I don't really need filled up is the concrete shot. Give me nine. Now you can either just take the damage or you can use the concrete shot. I always just take the damage since I have the damage um, the damage up on there. I'll just normally take the damage. Now Normally, I will use the rush coil right here. Never mind. I'm not even going to worry about it. Okay. Okay, I can jump up there. Okay, you get two of those.
I gotta remember how to do this part. I think you have to jump and concrete block it and then jump up. You have to do that kinda quick. Land on the other side and get that and then use it to fill that up because that's going to be more of what you're going to need. So you're going to drop down the hole. You're going to fight the bosses again. Okay. First boss. It is Galaxy Man. You can either kill him with the concrete shot or not. It doesn't really matter. You could use the concrete shot on one of Wiley's, but it's not going to matter either way. but he's much easier with the concrete shot. Okay. <clears throat> You're going to kind of use most of your stuff on uh, most of the other stuff on Wily, so don't worry about really running out of weapons. do is shoot him one more time with anything. <laughs> he would not die. <laughs> Try to use your hornets right here, your hornet chaser. But if for some reason, um, try to make them count. Usually they latch onto her. They'll latch onto some of the other enemies. Okay. Who this? Okay, this is where we need to use black hole bomb. Don't be scared to use it because after this, it's, uh, it's all gone anyway. Try to run him through it as much as humanly possible. Maybe two times a turn. And you'll kill him. Okay. That was a little bit nastier than what it needed to be. Should be Hornet Man. So we'll pull out the Magma Bazooka. Course. Lay waste this chump. It keeps thinking I want to charge the gun up, and I don't want to charge it up. You can charge up the magma, the um, the magma bazooka, but I don't like charge it up. You'll have to finish off this guy with your mega bust, well, with your gun, because uh, the tornado blows won't kill him. Switch back to you, huh? Back to the gun. Do not use the um tank unless it's its absolute necessity because you never know what it's going to do along with it's going to give you all your energy back and all the weapon energy back, but it's hard to tell what else it's going to do. You're going to use the key ball right here. here and what it needed to be. Okay. And we'll fight the last guy. This should be Plug Man. Um, I'm trying to remember what he's weak against. Whatever I haven't used, I suppose. No, yeah, the satellite. Alright. And you're going to face three forms of Wily when you go in here. Um... Uh, the first one is you have to shoot these things, these eggs, that go back and forth, and you have to make sure that it busts it in the jaw. If you can get it to, and yeah, that's how you have to do it. Um, the second one, um, let's see, he tries to stomp you. All you gotta do is just kind of 
move around and jump and shoot and everything you'll take some damage the weakness is a concrete shot but it'll probably you'll probably not get to use it um, the third one is the is the capsule that disappears and reappears um, you can um, I think you can use the plug ball yeah the plug ball is is the one to use you can use hornet chaser um, but uh, I just use the plug ball and just wait until it comes down far enough. So, we'll see what we can do. This first part is the one that's the most aggravating, but as long as you make it here with quite a few E tanks, you shouldn't be too bad. See, you gotta, see, you gotta keep shooting that back at him. And I'm no math wizard, so or trajectory or anything else like that. I'm actually surprised those three have. I'm surprised most of the ones right there have hit him in the jaw. It took me a while the other day whenever I was practicing. I must have got pretty good at it. Wow, that was very, very quick. <laughs> he didn't go down that fast the first time. Best thing is stand over here and then move. Again, you can, you're can. you supposed to the concrete shot is what he's weak against, but um, don't worry about that. Just... Uh, <laughs> you gotta love the music and just uh just let him have it i might have to use an e-tank i might as well go ahead and use one see this is the thing about having the e-tanks this is where you need them he's not overly hard to kill it just takes a little bit oh i forgot to jump shoot i didn't get to jump that was the thing you have to jump when he lands, otherwise you'll be stunned. You shoot him right in the mouth, right in the face. Now you'll switch to the plug ball, and I just wait until he comes down. I just dodge him until he comes down. It's the last form right here. Whoa! Sometimes he comes out back, and he comes out, and sometimes he doesn't. comes down low he does that six shot thing if he goes up high he tell you, he does the four shot one. Oh gosh no up high is the six shot down low is the four shot well maybe not real sure see I just drilled him right there really bad I could have hit him maybe one more time there oh I just wait until he comes down and I deal with him. See, there you go. And now y'all watch the ending. I'll read the parts for you. That is the end of Mega Man 9. We really got through that without too much problems. I'm really surprised because he usually had problems with that one. Dr. Wiley, please forgive me. This is pretty neat right here. Mega Man says, I want you to see something, Wiley. Mega Man, this is where you first went wrong. Then this time. And this time. And this time. And this time. And this time. I thought this was neat. And this time. And this time. And this time. The nine off of like... Um... I think the I think the first eight are the first eight or the first eight ones and I don't know if that ninth block is the tenth one or if it's or if it's uh, supposed to like be this one or something like that but um yeah and then he says you beat me again I should tell you Mega Man and Mega Man I should tell you there's something I was hiding from you Mega Man says what is it Dr. Wally says Dr. Light was taken away by the police was he not that wasn't a real officer. It was a fake police robot. I created Dr. Light is in the next room, but he felt ill, so he's sleeping now. You have to hurry and get him to a hospital this way. Mega Man, Dr. Light. Purdy Man comes down. Purdy Man says, you're a fool. 
Mega Man, it's a trap. That's the Dr. Light robot Wally used to make that fake video. And Mega Man says it may be, but if that's the real Dr. Light, then I have to help him. Proto Man says naive as always. Do what you want then. He leaves. Mega Man goes over to get Dr. Light. He gets like shocked. And Dr. Wise says so long Mega Man, you will be destroyed along with this castle. So it starts like a self-destruct thing in the castle. Mega Man says I'm glad that wasn't Dr. Light, but that poor robot. Proto Man comes down, looks like you need my help again. <laughs> And picks you up. Mega Man is once again put a stop to Dr. Wily's evil plans. Dr. Light was found to be innocent of all wrongdoing and was able to return to his laboratory. I think this is one of my favorite endings. And it'll show you why. It, it shows kind of like what the robots are doing now. The future holds the promise of peace for the people of Earth. Dr. Wily, however, was nowhere to be found. But I think it's just kind of neat how they have what the robots are doing. You'll see it here in a couple minutes. And it'll show what the robots are, are doing now. Um, now that they've, now that they're, you know, now that they're um, good guys now. They're good guys now. So there's Jewel Man. He is now a jeweler. Well, I guess like a jeweler. And, uh, of course, he has one for roll. I guess he makes jewels or he comes up or he mines jewels or something of that nature. And it shows you some of the enemies in each of the stages. That's going to be uh, Magma Man. And um, his uh, thing is heating up uh, water for Dr. Light, uh, for Dr. Light so that he can relax, kind of like a hot tub or something like that. The next one will be Hornet Man. Uh, those are the ones in his stage. There he is. He is now doing like the watering and the gardening of the of the things there on the feet. Those are Splash Woman's. <laughs> Splash Woman's is one of the funniest ones on there. Um, there she is. She is a model, and Otto's taking pictures. <laughs> that was in um, Plugman stage, I do believe. Yeah, there's Plugman. Slugman is, it looks like he's coming back from shopping with Rush. I'm going to assume those are electronic things to fix electronics with. Uh, that's going to be Galaxy Man. Um, as far as I can tell on the ending for Galaxy Man, I guess he takes off to another planet and Proto Man's watching him. Something of that nature, I guess, maybe. Not real sure. Um, this would be Concrete Man. Concrete Man is now, uh, as you would expect, is kind of, uh, well, he's chasing Dr. Wily. <laughs> I was going to say he's building things, but he's chasing Dr. Wily. Those are uh, Tornado Man stage, I think. Yeah, Tornado Man. And he is now friends with Mega Man. So they're all good guys this time. So that's why I like the ending off of this a little bit better than some of the other ones. I like the ending on this one because it's a... Um, you get to kind of see them turned good and what they've done when when they've turned good so that's Mega Man 9 um 
I am surprised we kind of got done uh, with the game with very minimal problems. Not a whole lot of problems, it's pretty minimal. Uh, usually that's the hardest one for me to beat, um, but it it went very well, and uh, it went good. Um, I've been trying to practice number 10 to see um, if I can get it done and everything, so uh, I've been working on number 10. Um, I'll need to work on it number 11. Um, we're going to have a stream either on Christmas Eve or Christmas. I'm not sure when it's coming out. Um, you guys will see it. Well, you'll see it after it's, you know, um, on those two days. I should have said something before because this is afterwards. Um, but I hope you to enjoy the Christmas or Christmas Eve stream. Um, <clears throat> we'll see which one it fell on before. Um, because this will be afterwards. Uh, there won't be a... As you guys probably will have noticed once this comes out, whenever this comes out, that there's not a Friday night flashback for that week. And that's because we've already released a video on Friday night, and we're not doing those. So, well, we're not doing it for this week. Um, maybe next week there will be one. Maybe on uh, New Year's there will be something. I'm not sure yet. So, um,. But thanks for tuning in to Mega Man 9. Like I said, I'm glad that uh, we didn't have too many problems with it. And until we see you on Mega Man 10, we'll see you next time.